As a Hamilton Tiger Cat fan, my favorite thing to do is watch football. And of course, as a Patriots fan, his favorite thing to do is watch his wife get fucked by other men. <laughs> He came at me out of the gate saying I like to watch my wife get fucked by other men. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> We've got Hamilton roasting Boston. Make some noise. Jerry Hall. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right. First. Jack. All right. First of all, let me just say that uh, I'm glad we're both wearing our respective uh, football jerseys here because uh, as a Hamilton Tiger Cat fan, my favorite thing to do is watch football. And of course, as a Patriots fan, his favorite thing to do is watch his wife get fucked by other men. I do, I do want to point out, though, that the uh, Boston Bruins jersey, much like the Hamilton Tiger Cats jersey, has uh, white and black and yellow. The difference is in Hamilton, we know that those colors are equal. But, but we're here to roast Boston, or as it's known throughout America, New York's retarded cousin. <laughs> and, uh, and you might not like me saying that, but uh, I, I spend five minutes talking with a person from Boston. <laughs> Listen to that accent. And then spend another five minutes talking to a person with Down syndrome. <laughs> I defy you to find the difference. That's why Boston has a lot of immigrants, because if you don't speak English, go to Boston, nobody will fucking notice. Like, like, I don't know why you guys from Boston talk like that. I assumed it was because you had Tom Brady's cock in your mouth. Glad there's no chance this Patriots fan will cheat tonight. But Boston people, they don't just sound dumb, they are dumb. Because I'm from Canada and I can spell Massachusetts. You go to Boston, they can't spell Boston. Boston is known as Bean Town because of their love for brown beans, which is the only brown thing they like. <laughs> How racist is Boston? Their best basketball player was a white guy. <laughs> When police shoot a black person in Boston, Boston gets very upset that there was a black person in Boston. Boston. <laughs> 
Boston Netflix. Boston Netflix has 12 Years a Slave in the comedy category. I've been to Boston, and I think it sucks, and Hamilton is my reference. <laughs> like I, I was there, I, I found it both extremely forgettable and also very violating. It was essentially like having a drink with Bill Cosby. <laughs> A lot of Irish people in Boston, a lot. Yeah, that's why Boston is the U.S. city that drinks the most Guinness beer. Uh, yeah, but I don't know. See, I don't like when they tell me that they like it. They say it's an acquired taste. I'm like, well, so is fucking semen. You don't have to drink a whole pint. <laughs> I, won't, I won't be attempting the Boston accent tonight because I don't have a concussion. Uh, Boston had the tea party when they found out tea doesn't have any alcohol in it. There's no happy hour in Boston because it's physically impossible for them to drink more. Every Boston person's liver has more scars than Bobby Orr's knees. We got Christmas coming up in Boston, but they, well, in Christmas coming up, but they don't celebrate Christmas in Boston. It's not that they don't believe in Jesus, they just can't picture a 15 year old virgin. Seriously, the only thing that's 15 years old and untouched in Boston is a toothbrush. <laughs> Sorry, the, the women are easy in Boston. That's why you hear about the Boston crabs so much. They're like, the women there are like Building 7. They go down fast and they don't need a reason. Speaking of 9-11, the hijackers left from Logan Airport, which just goes to show, if you spend enough time listening to that Boston accent, you're gonna wanna fly a plane into a building. It's horrible. A Boston woman coming sounds like a walrus having a seizure. Sorry, a Boston woman coming looks like a walrus having a seizure. I'm sorry, Boston women are hideous. I could put on a dress and I'd be a Boston 8. That's why Boston was one of the first cities to allow same-sex marriage. It was just getting too hard to tell the women from the men. Thank you very much. From Hamilton, Jerry. Jerry! Jerry Hall opening strong. Woo. All right, guys. Up next, Danton Lamar, Boston, roasting Hamilton. Let's hear it, Danton. Uh, okay, okay, wow. Give it up for Gary, he had a lot to say. He came at me out of the gate saying I like to watch my wife get fucked by other men. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> Don't judge what I do in the bedroom, all right? 
Fuck, I mean, uh, let's be honest here, all right? Jerry had the real advantage. Boston's a real city. <laughs> Look, I'm not from here. I hear Hamilton's filled with uh, hard-nosed, hard-working, say-it-like-it-is people. Or in other words, white trash. <laughs> Look, all right, as far as I understand it, Hamilton is where Torontonians go when they fail. <laughs> oh, God. Look, doing research for Hamilton, I found out Hamilton leads Canada in murders, right? It is the murder capital. We need to make sure Jerry goes home alone. <laughs> I cannot have a murder-suicide on my conscience. Okay? I don't need it. Fucking A, I'm from Boston. Saw enough people get shot. I don't need that shit. Fucking A. All right, look. I, I think it's funny, though, that Hamilton's killed all those people and still nobody knows about it. Hamilton leads Canada in hate crimes, which is on brand. It also explains Jerry. Um, look, I want to say Hamilton's a nice town, right? I've been there twice, got called a nigger, twice. <laughs> Statistics, I don't know. Fucking A. They call Hamilton the steel town, right? The steel city, right? It's a great place to get your car stolen. <laughs> Hamilton is known for being racist, you know? It's, uh, it's one of those things, like Hamilton High School. That's where the KKK recruits. They're in there passing out pamphlets. I saw it, I saw it. Check your TikToks. I'm telling you, Hamilton breeds the kind of people that'll say something racist to you and then tell you it's a compliment. They'll be like, oh my God, Danton, you speak so eloquently. And I'm just like, fuck you, Jerry. <laughs> Hamilton seems like they breed the kind of men that ask for consent in the courtroom. Look, I heard, I heard Hamilton's very progressive, right? They teach girls self-defense in high school. And Jerry teaches them no means yes. I hear Hamilton survives because of university students and drug addicts. It's because they're both too broken, broken to leave. Oh, God, all right. Um, but Hamilton's university does have some great degrees, like in chemistry, cooking, nursing. Sorry, I read that wrong. Um, they have great degrees in meth, crack, and heroin. Apparently, and correct me if I'm wrong, but Hamilton is the only town where, where black stereotypes apply to white people. Apparently I'm wrong. All right, good. Glad to hear it. I didn't want to hear they had big dicks. Uh... <laughs> oh my God, Jerry's wearing the, uh, the sweatshirt of his uh, hometown football team. You know, Hamilton has a CFL team, which is great if you don't like sports. Like, honestly, what the fuck is a tiger cat? Like, is it some muffin? Like, is it a mythical creature? Like, honestly, a tiger cat doesn't exist, okay? Like, what the fuck is it? They may as well be the Hamilton unicorns. Like, what the fuck is going on over here? Like, y'all used to have a dynasty going on, from what I understand. You used to win a bunch of championships before 1999. 
Y2K broke their team? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I, as far as I hear, like, I don't watch the CFL because I only watch real sports. <laughs> but, like, the only thing that could help the fucking Tiger Cats actually succeed is maybe if they brought in O.J. Simpson to coach. <laughs> you know, maybe the team would listen to an actual murderer. Give me a woo if you're over 40. All right, we'll see how this joke does. <laughs> Tinder and Hamilton is just a thousand men that look like Tom Wilson. We're off to a great start. And a thousand women that look like Iron Mike Sharp. There we go, that's a good joke. It's been confirmed, all right, y'all. My favorite bartender told me to say it and now I'm gonna tell him it bombed. So, thank you, thank you. Getting towards the end. All right, so uh, Hamilton's pastime is child neglect. All right. That's why Jerry and his wife are here. His son is home alone. Luckily, they left the TV on and they put some food in his bowl. I'll finish on this, all right? Like I said, I'm not from here, so I had to look up shit about Hamilton, right? And I was like, all right, let's look up some Hamilton, Ontario fun facts, right? So I type in Hamilton, Ontario fun into Google. It autofills to Hamilton, Ontario funeral home. Second answer, Hamilton, Ontario, funeral home and obituary. Third answer for a little diversity, Hamilton, Ontario, Jewish funeral home. Cause they love their Jews over there, you know. Fun facts was not in the top five. Number five was the only thing that wasn't a funeral home. It was a fundraiser. And I clicked on it. It was for a fucking funeral. My name's Danton Lamar. Enjoy the rest of the night. Lamar, bringing it. Great job, great job. Get over here. All right, guys. Moment of truth. I'm going to ask you guys to decide. So first of all, make some noise if you liked Boston. Make some noise for Boston. <laughs> Make some noise if you liked Hamilton. Oh, yes! Hamilton wins! First victory! Good job, good job. Give it up, guys. Give it up for both these comics. Hello!